Being a data analyst, you've probably heard about this job everywhere. But what does a data analyst do? Could it be what you're looking for in your future career? Today we will talk about the relevance of this job, their daily activities, and some of their main qualities so that you can discover if you want to follow this career path. We will also discuss if it is good timing to pursue a career in data analytics in the year of 2023. So without further ado, let's get started. Most companies in today's world treasure data as one of their most valuable resources, since its understanding leads to efficient decision-making processes and better strategies to keep up in their respective industry. That is where a data analyst comes in. They are so important right now that everyone is looking to hire one for their company. According to the latest market analysis report by Technavio, the data analytics market potential growth difference will be USD 196.47 billion from 2021 to 2026. And if you look for data analyst vacancies in Europe, LinkedIn will show you over 250K vacancies in December of 2022. So this is the perfect moment to be working as a data analyst. You may wonder, how will the upcoming economic recession impact the market? Top tech companies like Facebook, Netflix, and Tesla are freezing hiring, rescinding offers, or implementing layoffs. But there is still light in the data analysis landscape. Yes, hiring might freeze or slow down for several months, but it will always get back as tech, marketing, finance, and many other sectors and industries continue to grow. The need for data analysts will definitely increase as they help companies become smarter and more cost efficient, which is exactly what companies strive for in the current economic environment. Companies won't stop hiring, they will just be more cautious. Everything sounds good so far, doesn't it? But what is a data analyst responsible for in a company? Nowadays, collecting data on your customers in the overall market becomes easier. But not everyone understands what this data means for their company or how exactly it could answer the company's questions and problems. That's when they hire a data analyst. Think of it as if you have just found an old riddle that everyone knows hides the exact position of a treasure that can make your village the most successful one in the kingdom. Some people who read it could get a vague idea of where the treasure might be, thinking they have the whole picture, and some others could understand it entirely wrong. Only a riddle expert would be able to go further and understand the secret coordinates that the riddle hides. This is a bit of what data is for a company. They can get all the information they need and they already know that there lies the answer to what to do next in a specific situation. But they will need someone to turn the riddle into something easy to comprehend so that they can make informed decisions. As you read the riddle, you notice that the paper is also full of dust and the creator was very sleepy while writing it. So he kept repeating some phrases, forgot some words, or simply spilled some ink all over it. So now you, as the expert, must get rid of all those imperfections that will only make your job harder. The same happens with data. Once you've collected all the data you might need, you will have to pay attention to all of its errors. Your data can be duplicated, corrupted, or it can even have irrelevant bits for you. So you first have to clean that up and give it a better structure to ensure you're working with top quality data and have an excellent overview to start with. This is a key step in data analysis because it could save you from getting inconsistent results or an entirely wrong image of what is really happening with the issue. So usually this step takes the longest, but doing it right will save plenty of problems for the analyst. Once you have much legible text analyzed, it's time to get your hands dirty. You pay attention to every detail in the riddle, how it is written, the specific words the creator used, and so on, until you can finally extract the actual location of the treasure. Of course, manually cleaning and analyzing big amounts of data could take forever. <laughs> and that's why there's so many tools out there you could use to fasten this process. Have in mind that some of this will require knowing at least the basics of programming for collecting and analyzing. You can use R, Python, SQL, NoSQL, and Apache Hadoop, among many others. Then you can use some other software like Power BI, Data Studio, or Looker to be able to visualize and deliver business insights. This way, the company's decision makers can decide the next step based on objective information that is also relevant to the issue. As you can assume, data can be used for a wide range of problems a company could face. Some of the questions that a data analyst could answer are, when do most customers visit the store? What products account for the largest percentage of sales? What is our target consumer demographic? And a massive variety of other questions and issues the company could have regarding its performance in the market or even inner processes. So in other words, you're helping the company see the improvement opportunities they currently have based on where they are right now and what they have in their hands to reach their goals and go even further. 
Okay, now that you know where the treasure is, the next step comes. Share your discovery with the adventurer who will take the quest and look for the treasure to bring it back home. You will not only have to find the answers to the question established, but you will also have to find the best way to share your insights with the stakeholders in the project that you're in. A data analyst also has to prepare presentations with different tools, visual aids, and anything else that they would need to organize and synthesize the information to make it easy for everybody in the room to understand. At the end of the day, people will make important decisions based on what you share, such as taking a product off the market or testing their luck in other countries. So you have to make sure you're being as transparent as possible with your audience. Present to them all the relevant events and facts that you found and let them know any other clarifications the stakeholders must have in mind while deciding on the project or even the company's future. To make it simple, you would have to one, identify the challenges your company is facing and what insights you will need to find solutions. Two, collect all the required information and clean it up for better understanding. Three, analyze the data to come up with relevant insights for the issue. And four, share these insights with the stakeholders in the most precise way possible. You may now have an idea of not only what a data analyst does, but also what abilities they must have. So let's go through some of them. Just like an artist gets more sensible to colors and the sensation they give in a room, or how a detective learns to almost instinctively read a person, data analysts also have their specific valuable abilities for their field. Some of these are innate curiosity, an analytically inclined mindset, and a keen interest in business strategy. One, the innate curiosity is crucial for the data analysts since they will constantly face significant amounts of unorganized data that could also present some errors. This curiosity will lead the analyst to go through all this data and find whatever could be necessary to solve the current problem. In addition, it will give them the motivation to explore different angles and get insight that could only be found by someone really invested in understanding all the patterns, connections, and other twists and turns in the data collected. Two, an analytically inclined mindset helps the analyst comprehend real world problems to the point that they can translate them into data driven insights. This way, an analyst can put the issue in terms of data, filter the information needed to understand the whole situation, and conclude what can be done about it. If you can identify what you need, you can also separate relevant data from the one that won't contribute much to finding a solution. It is basically putting the issue and the data in the same language to ease the conversation between the two. And three, lastly, a data analyst must have an interest in understanding the company entirely to identify its immediate operational and analytical needs. Mainly because any given situation that a business can face can have many causes. But if the analyst truly understands the company and its goals, it would be easier for them to find the direct cause and multiple effective solutions for it. So at this point, if you were wondering if data analysis was a good career choice, now you know the answer is a resounding yes. It can be applied in most, if not all fields, and it is needed in every company that wants to improve its performance in its respective industry. And the best part is that with just some curiosity and a willingness to learn, anyone can start their career path in the field. After watching this video, you may find a great first step at Turing College if you're keen on becoming a data analyst. We are offering specially curated and remote learning programs for busy people to get you started in the field. Our courses were created by some of the world's top industry experts from Harvard, Amazon, and even Google. There are already hundreds of analysts working in different companies thanks to our courses. You can start today by clicking on the link in the description below. This is your opportunity to enroll in a wonderful career. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.